Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. That's strange. It is. Well, Craig Herrera is back from a little camping in the San Juans over yeah. the weekend. How was it? Oh, back to reality. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh my God, the weather was perfect. A little bit of marine layer early and then sunshine during the afternoon. Uh, great to be back. Boy, what a beautiful, we live in such a beautiful place, don't we? So awesome. Mark, Jessica, good evening. Everyone at home, good evening to you. The dogs had a great time as well. It's uh, just beautiful. It's right now, this is what we're looking at. Westport, lots of cloud cover out there. Hey, I met a lot of friends out there, by the way. It was good to see people and to say, hey, you're the King Five guy. So thanks for saying hi, I appreciate it. I love to say hi anytime we're out and about. Uh, take a look at this from Hansville. You got the beautiful sunset out here, a little bit of haze off in the distance, but uh, a lot of the smoke from neighboring states will continue to travel to the east as we go through the day tomorrow. So for a good part of the day, you probably noticed the air quality looked nice. You could see well out just in every direction, and the mountain looked fantastic today. Beautiful. Got up to 75 Everett today, 90s over central and eastern Washington, 69 in Hoquiam, Seattle at 82. Puts us above normal for this time of year. And right now, looking at the satellite radar, we don't have much as far as the rain, thankfully, but we're watching closely the potential to see some of the moisture get pulled up our direction, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms over eastern Washington. We've also got another storm just off the coast. This one right here that's going to help to deepen the marine layer, send it our direction, stick. Uh, it'll stick around a little bit longer tomorrow. So we're actually going to cool almost 10 degrees in some cases tomorrow, but it's still going to be a nice afternoon. Uh, we'll start off with plenty of cloud cover, some drizzle, maybe a light shower along the coast, but most of this will be some pretty thick drizzle. 1230, we still see a whole lot of cloud cover. South Sound, you're getting some sunshine. Your friends and neighbors to the north still in the clouds until the afternoon. Then we get the sunshine going. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic? Deception Pass State Park, one of my favorite spots. That's a sunset tonight from Rusty and Dolly enjoying the beautiful sunset out there. Send us your photos. Uh, yeah, this is for Posmo with Craig. You can use the hashtag K5Pets or just email them to me. Cloudy and drizzly for a good part of the morning. By the afternoon, we get back up into the 70s, still slightly below average for this time of year, but a nice day. We'll start the morning tomorrow with the 50s. Your highs tomorrow as I step off the map so you can see all your cities, 60s and 70s tomorrow. Mid 70s at that, beautiful. We'll keep those mid 70s going for a few days. Then things start to warm up just a bit. Nothing too bad, so it's kind of nice. By by the time we get into the weekend, here's your seven day forecast. Mark Jessica will get back to the 80s by this weekend, but in the meantime, lots of cloud cover during the morning hours, afternoon sunshine. Enjoy the week ahead.